Hey everybody, welcome to this lesson on Transform Origin. The Transform Origin is a point around which transforms like rotation, skew, and scale will be applied. It is defined by a pair of horizontal and vertical values. DOM elements have a default transform origin of their center. Here we have a square that is 300 pixels by 300 pixels wide. By default, its transform origin is going to be its center at 50%, 50%. Transform origin pairs always come with the horizontal value first and the vertical value second. So for this top right hand corner here, you'll see we are 100% across horizontally and 0% down vertically. Zeros in CSS do not need any type of suffix. We can also use pixel values and with pixels, the bottom right hand corner is going to be 300 across and 300 down. There's also a set of handy CSS keywords like left, top, center, right, and bottom. And when using pixels and percents, it's very important to note that the values that we use are relative to the top left hand corner of the element. So this 300 pixels right here on the vertical is 300 pixels from the top left corner. And I wanna show you next that we can have transform origin values that are outside of the dimensions of the element that we are transforming. Consider this demo here. This box is 200 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall. And right now the transform origin is at 100 pixels by 100 pixels. I can click in the top right corner here to spin around that point, or I can click out here and spin around there, or we can do negative values like negative 106 from the left edge and 102 pixels down from the top. Things get interesting when we do other transforms like scale. Ooh, I can scale around the bottom left corner, the top right corner, somewhere along the middle edge, or somewhere outside of that edge. Every time I click, the X and Y coordinates of that transform origin, again, are gonna be relative to the top left-hand corner here. I'm gonna provide both of these demos for you so that you can play around with it and really get a feel for how these values work. So let's take what we've learned and apply it to a real-world application. So in this file here, I have this truck that I want to do sort of a wheelie on the back wheel. So we're animating the truck to a rotation of negative 40, and we'll do a repeat one in yo-yo true. And whenever we click on the demo, we're gonna restart that tween. So without setting a transform origin, you'll see that the transform origin is in the center, which is the default. Now we may guess and say, oh, you know what? Maybe we just wanna animate it around this bottom left corner here. So starting out the wrong way, we're just going to add a transform origin of left bottom. Ooh, that's not exactly right. It's sort of getting off the ground. What we really want to do is animate around this point right here in the center of the wheel. But how are we gonna get that value? Well, remember that value is relative to the top left-hand corner of the image. Now, the way I would do this most of the time is just go into my graphics editing program. In this case, it's animate make sure my artwork that I have here is jammed to the left top of the stage. And then I would just want to measure the distance between the top left-hand corner and the center of this wheel here. To do that, I would just select the rectangle tool and then just very quickly do a rectangle like this, right about there. And then I would just need to know the width and height of this rectangle. And I'm just gonna round these numbers down to 65 and 160. And then back in my code, I'll take this left bottom and I'm just gonna change it to 65 pixels, 160 pixels. Woohoo! Now we have something that is much better, all right? Pretty sweet. Now, although working in the graphics editing program is fine, I've got a little special bonus for you. Down below here, I had some special code put in that gives me the X, Y of where I'm clicking on the truck, all right? So let's just pop open our console now. I'm gonna clear it out, and I'm just gonna zoom in a bit on that back wheel, and I'm gonna click right where I think, you know, the center is, and let's zoom out, 
and in my console I get 64 159.5 all right that's pretty close to those values that I measured quickly in animate all right so imagine if you could just you know put your mouse where you want it boom click and then you get the numbers that you want for your transform origin all right that's sort of the power of creative coding all right we can code our own solutions like this getting into what all this code means a little bit beyond this beginner course but this is the type of stuff i love doing in my other creative coding club courses and to take things just one step further I dropped the truck into that box demo from before, and now wherever I click, I can rotate the truck and get a nice, cool visual of where I'm rotating around. And of course, I can change that to the scale if I want to, or back to the rotation. And again, this is why I love creative coding, because it allows us to find these types of solutions to solve our everyday problems. But for now, I hope you have a much better understanding of the transform origin. Definitely study the demos I've given you and try to find creative ways to apply it to your own artwork. All right, that's a wrap, folks. I really hope you learned something cool that you can add to your own projects. Again, it really helps me if you take the time to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.